Hi, I'm KTM Pappy. I'm going to show you how I built a trolley for my self-loader using the Pittsburgh uh, wheel, wheel stand, motorcycle stand. Uh, first off, I used a metal cutting blade with my skill saw, cut off 12 inches from the back part of the stand. Next thing I did, I got two 36 inch pieces of inch and a quarter square tubing. I drilled and tapped four holes, two of them for mounting, two of them for attaching a set screw to hold a, an aluminum insert that I cut. This is one inch square aluminum stock, solid. Drilled and tapped one end so I could attach the wheels to the front part of the axle and it's inserted inside the tube. Set screw goes right here to hold it in. If I can thread it in there. I then mounted the axle assembly the holes that I had drilled in the stand. Now the piece that locks the rear tire in, you have to make sure the bolts are far enough back that you can insert the shaft through here that holds this uh, little rocker in place. I'll go ahead and secure this tight. Lock this down. Okay, the wheels that I moved, they're, they're casters. I removed them from the bracket. Because I don't need the bracket for this application. And mount it, screw them directly into the aluminum square stock. I'm careful not to tighten this down too much because the aluminum is not near as hard as the stainless steel bolt that I'm putting in there. And I attach this rocker. And this is this part is all done in accordance with the instructions that come with the, with the motorcycle wheel stand.
This front part is adjustable and there's several holes provided to accommodate different size axles or different size front wheels. Excuse me. And there you have it. And here you have a trolley for about a hundred bucks versus four fifty to five hundred dollars for a ready-made one. Again, you can pick what you want to do. I'm doing things on a budget though. Okay, here I've got a completed trolley. As you can see, I've made some additions to it. I've decided to mount the winch. I bought a 2,500 pound uh, winch from Harbor Freight. Uh, it was on sale, $48. Bought a battery at Walmart, 20 bucks. I fabricated the platform to mount the winch out of the, the tail section that I took off of the, the motorcycle chalk. I mounted the winch at an angle that worked best for me, but as a result, I had to put a pulley. That pulley was designed to double the lifting capacity of the winch, however, I used it to change the direction of pull. So I could pull it straight from the center. Notice I have the winch mounted at an angle. Uh, that sort of worked best for me. Uh, built a battery box out of some inch and a quarter angle. In order to easily load the front wheel up into the trolley, I made a short ramp. I used a 8 inch channel and I cut it at an angle in order to ramp the front wheel easily up into the trolley. Okay, so now I have a total of about $170, give or take, invested in the trolley. The next thing I got was an 8-foot foldable aluminum ramp, which I found on eBay. That uh, guides the back wheel up into the truck or trailer. In this case, I mounted everything on my trailer because I have a toolbox in the back of my truck right now. Uh, the trolley is guided up by three inch channel. It's a three inch by an inch and a half channel. I use steel channel. It's strong enough. The two inch channel tended to have a little too much flex in it. Now if we look at the rails that I built for the trailer, I used two inch channel for the rails. The attachment to the rails, or for the rails going up, as you can see, I put some tabs on the bottom and I built a slot so I could easily attach right there. It's secure, it won't come off. If you have a twenty to thirty thousand dollar bike, you want to make sure it's secured on good. You notice the ramp has a safety strap on it. I have uh, two inch channel rails and these I can easily switch from the trailer to my truck and I can load either one with it. Now the outside of the rails is 40 inches to the inside is 36 inches. The 
same length as the uh, tubing that I used for the axles. So the tires fit just about dead center on there. On the back to lap over the tailgate or the end of the trailer, I put a piece of inch and a half angle iron. 36 inch pieces of channel to hold it together here and here. And that maintains uh, the right spacing for the entire length. And pretty much that's all there is to it. I'm not set up to test it today, but I have tested it and it loads perfectly. I hope this video helped you out. And this is KTM Pappy building a motorcycle loader on a budget. Pretty simple. The reason I decided to mount the winch on the trolley instead of on the trailer or in a truck is I can easily move that loader from the trailer to the truck or any other pickup that's of uh, equal length. And uh, I don't have to worry about remounting the winch.